Hello everyone, welcome to Boots and All. Today we're off to one of my favourite grounds in the league, Leichhardt Oval, one of the homes of the West Tigers, but the traditional home of the Balmain Tigers. Yes, Vossi, Leichhardt Oval, it's seen many a big crowd, many a fine player and many a great game. Still a popular ground for the fans, mm. judging by the big crowd for the Tigers South Clash a few weeks ago. We've got a good show lined up too. Here's a preview. We'll have a host of memorable Leichhardt Oval moments. Kelly Van Munster will have the story on what it's like being a junior referee. There'll be a tribute to a truly great Tigers fan. And the best of Billy Slater 2004. Some super tries from one of the league's most exciting players. Now, Vossi, I know in these modern times, people say it's nice to sit in the comfort of big grandstands and big mm -hmm. stadiums. But let me tell you, I always hope there's a place in the NRL for the traditional rugby league ground like Leichhardt Oval. Absolutely. And the last time a side won a first grade premiership playing at a Leichhardt Oval was the Balmain Tigers of 1969. Yes. The upset win over South Sydney. Some say it was the biggest upset of all time. Others claim the Tigers employed go-slow tactics. It's all part of rugby league legend now. Well, recently I had the chance to catch up with some of the players and the coach of the 69 Tigers. Here's their story of an incredible win. I was going to retire the year before, but I just, you know, decided they, uh, well, they decided to to uh, coax me on and uh, play another year, which uh, I did. But never ever thought that we'd win the competition. Not too many people give us a chance to win it, except Balmain people, and we give ourselves a very big chance as we got towards the end because we played South a few times during the start of the season, uh, during the season, and we'd beaten them once and they'd beaten us once. And that was before we come into the semis. And then we played them in the semi-final and they beat us by one point and we only had 12 men after half time. You look at, you look at the, the program prior to the game starting. So Sydney, but nine into nine or ten international footballers in there. Wingers that could catch pigeons. Um, you look at Balmain. I was in international, Peter Proven in international, Lenny Killeen, I suppose you could call him an international. The rest of them were a bunch of kids. A bunch of kids. Not many of them were over 22 years old. Not been in the game that long. We were definitely the underdogs. After missing the final through a rib injury, Peter Proven proudly leads Balmain onto the field. Balmain lost the major semi-finals of the Premiers by a point, but came back to defeat Manly by a similar margin for the right to challenge Sox. Well, they had the will to win, and uh, they are a lot better side than what teams give them credit for. We had a good goal kicker. We played, uh, played a very strong game all the way through, with a defensive game all the way through. We backed up as much as we possibly could. And uh, on a th one of the major points in it was the fact that we didn't give penalties away. That was the thing that was rubbed into them all the time. We couldn't afford to give penalties away. Calling for the ball, Proven positions Parker. On to the flying Williams, who dives over for the only try of the match. I can't remember having uh, touched the ball prior to that, and I didn't touch it too many times after that, I don't think. Um, at the time I thought, can't be try, um, must be a forward pass, this is a grand final. Um, we don't score tries against the minor premiers and supposed favourites for this, the comp. Um, and I, I got up expecting Keith Page, I think it was Keith Page, um, to blow the whistle as a penalty, but. Uh, Ah, it was a try. We were all jumping up and down and I thought, what's going on? You know, and I'd been hit by a late tackle after after I passed the ball. I was in the movement, just, uh, you know, the try movement, and bang, and I was out like a light, and then I came to and we, we'd scored. Able to keep play in South's half, Balmain are in a commanding position, and when Bolton pops his second field goal, victory is all but assured. Did we break any rules? We didn't break any rules. We did, I suppose in a way, slow the game down a little bit. But you can only do that when you've got the ball. And we did that. 
We just slowed the game. We control it. When you've got the ball, you're controlling the game. There might have been a few could have went down with exhaustion, but, I, but the idea was always to slow the game down. As a matter of fact, every time we played South, the idea was to slow them down because they were too good with the ball. Cougar brings an end to their hopes, and Balmain, its first premiership in 22 years. I still, you know, get a kick out of, you know, people saying, oh, you played in that in the grand final. Uh, yeah, uh, captain too. Uh, yeah, you know, get a real kick out of it. A lot of people remember, especially South Sydney supporters, um, my name is, is um, they say, you're the bloke that scored against us. I said, yeah, and they said, we'll never forgive you. <laughs> Every now and then someone will bring up something, but uh, no, I forgot most of it. Only the, only the drinking part after. <laughs> the celebrations. Yeah, what a day for the Tigers, 1969 Grand Final. Yeah, hey, Bossy, well, I have to be honest, when I think of the Balmain Tigers, and particularly here in the tunnel at Leichhardt Oval, it's hard not to remember this man, uh, Laurie Nichols. Well, I've got to say, as a young boy coming to this ground, I came as much to see Laurie throwing punches as I did watching the game. He was great entertainment. I first saw him back in the 60s on the concourse at the SCG, supporting the Tigers, but we thought no visit to Leichhardt Oval would be complete without a tribute to the great Laurie Nichols. He truly was one of a kind. I love you. 